Antarctica, there are no power sources here like you have back at home to give us instant electricity at the flick of a switch. We have to rely on generators to give us our power source. Uh, we have two of them, the same as this here, one in the living caboose that we're in right now and one in the science caboose also. Generators consist of uh, two main parts of, in this case, a four-cylinder internal combustion engine coupled to an alternator at the back that produces the 240 volt electricity we need for the power down here. With the cool freezing climates of Antarctica, we can't run diesel down here. So we have an 800 litre fuel tank full of aviation fuel down here, which is a much lower freezing temperature than diesel. Each morning, uh, one of the five of us has to come out of the living caboose into the plant room here to prep the generator for starting. It's a case of in the door removing a panel that allows fresh air to come in and opening a set of lures at the radiator side of the generator to allow that fresh air to come out. That allows the air to circulate around and keep the engine running at an optimum temperature of about 82 to 85 degrees. Once our generator is up and running and producing 240 volts, it's a simple case of flicking a breaker on the side of the control panel here. This allows the electricity to flow into the distribution board and then on into the living caboose itself or the science caboose. Out here, one of the main features uh, for the electricity consumption is the snow melt tank. Uh, we use that for the immersion to melt the snow and make our drinking water. And over here, we have got a battery charger that allows us to charge our uh, bank of 24 volt batteries that allows us to keep running uh, during the night with services. Uh, heating for the Webastos and for the 24 volt lighting. Two of our major concerns down here are fire and uh, falling into a crevasse with one of the cabooses or both of them possibly. So that's why we have a contingency plan with uh, four generators, one in either caboose, uh, the same as I'm on here now, and two mobile ones. This gives us plenty of redundancy that if the worst did happen, we'd still be fit to survive down here.